Okay, so last time we found out that Sam has a bit of a different, um, bit of a different, uh, <laughs> fucking ab pictures. God damn it. I feel so sorry for honestly anyone dealing with a dating app. I'm sure it's complete garbage. Um, but yeah, last time we found out that Sam's secret is not quite what I thought, and I guess the secretness makes even... Well, honestly, honestly, being gay in some families legitimately, like, I know people that have genuinely feared for their safety, and, um... If you have friends that are keeping that secret, any of these variety of secrets, that really give them your support. They there's a lot of dumb bullshit they got to go through. Welcome to Lovebird, it's a dating app that's completely free for women. <laughs> oh, you don't have to wait for cute guys to come your way. <laughs> oh yeah, that seems you won't have to wait for cute. Oh, oh, they, wait, no, I understand. They make the guys pay to pester women. So, it's still horrible, but in kind of the opposite way. I was kind of figuring it's like, hey, ladies, you're going to get pestered constantly by men. It's like, I mean, it's still that, but they got to pay to pester you. Wonderful. Your profile sounds very interesting. I would like to know you better. Fancy a coffee? I'm just out of a few relationships. Want to make some new friends? Nice guy. His name is Nice Guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't really know why nice guy became such a meme, <laughs> but I can't read nice guy in this context and not think <laughs> think things. Uh, no, hold on. Shut up. The, uh, why does every song have vocals? Uh, it, it really annoys. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, let's go back. Paul. My name's Paul, and I'm really new on this website. I would really love to meet a nice woman who has... wants to live a life full of life and a lot of babies with me. Uh, uh. This is his first fucking contact with someone. I want to have a life full of a lot of babies, yeah! I guess... I guess if you're gonna... If I guess if you're really after that, maybe you really do have to, like put that out there because like 99% of people are gonna want to not deal with your gross shit I'd have a big family and love my wife forever and have a happy life I want my wife to be like a princess and uh, 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 I want to die I want to die again even more even more than than Sam's other profile I'm only halfway through this message I'm gonna die I'm a good man with a good job and a lot of money in the office. What do you mean in the office? Do you keep your money in the office? I keep mine in a bank. That automatically makes me better than you, you freaking baby hoarding freak show. I like dates with beautiful women and going to the cinema and good restaurants. Oh yeah, good restaurants specifically. I would like a lot to meet you, but it's not possible because I live in <laughs> Ivikastan. Give me your email address and I will send you my telephone number so we can talk and like each other. I want to see a photo of your beautiful face and I can also send you my photos with my family. Please answer me. Yeah, not really surprised that one didn't get answered. Not really surprised at all. Pretty girl, how are you? Very intrigued by your profile. It sounds very suggestive, and I wonder who's behind those beautiful words. It's such a pity you don't have a photo, because I'd like to see your eyes, your smile, and more. Do you have a webcam? Do you live here? You're just visiting. I've got a big apartment. Micro here. Yeah, I know. He's got a little something micro right about here. <laughs> oh. Hi. Have a pic. Of course. It's all about... Uh, yeah, I get it. Roland 89. What are you looking for? You interested in meeting? Nice guy here, looking for fun and maybe more. Big t uh. uh. Hello, Sam thing else. Hello, Phil of. Oh, wait, wait, what? Hello, Phil Free. Hi, Sam thing else. Phil is your real name? I'm Sam. Nice to talk to you, Sam. Yes, I'm Phil. Oh, your surname is Free. It sounds so cool. Well, I truly hope it wasn't my only nickname, your nickname that caught your attention. No, no, I quite like your profile. Especially the part where you're very openly buying bisexual and 
interested in fighting all kinds of discriminations. So different from the others. Oh, he has a non-Garbo profile. It made me read it several times. It just gave me good vibes, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna blush. Thank you for your kind words. Is this guy not shit? I am like genuinely like, wow, a non-terrible person. This is like the first non-terrible person that we've met. This one from Sam and Alice. Oh, I'm gonna blush. Thank you for your kind words. Don't be silly. I am impressed. It's inspiring. You must be a courageous person. Oh, you know, it's not really brave to be honest with yourself on the internet under a pseudonym. I'm only starting to accept myself. It took me quite a while. Really. What specifically made it possible for you? I owed it to my friends that I made at the LGBT center in my town, with being gay by trans. I received a lot of support from them, and in the end I understood that I wasn't a weird freak because I had to accept myself for what I am. Ha. <laughs> you don't have to explain it to me. I go to the LGBT center in my town as well. Okay, that's the book club. Oh, are you bisexual as well? Ahem. <clears throat> I'll tell you more next time. I have to go. Uh, relatives are coming tomorrow. I can't sleep late today. Okay, see you soon. Hi Sam, how are you? Did you enjoy your family time? Hi Phil. I'll compress I'm, I'm not too happy. It wasn't a good time for me. Oh, what happened? My relatives are quite old school, not really open to LGBT topics. You know what I mean? I, um... I don't like to get, well, how to word this? Ah, fuck it. So, my whole life, why did the music stop? Okay, there we go. I was like, I did not mean for this to be incredibly dramatic. Um, when I was in high school, I kind of figured all of this stuff, all of this whole discrimination, all of this shit, would kind of stop being a thing. I figured maybe, maybe the older folks would be an issue, but I figured my generation was going to stop being stupid about this. Um, I did not think in 2016, 2017, it would be such a fucking shit can issue, and so many people would be such bigoted garbage, and fucking bathroom bills, like, they're afraid of people that gotta fucking pee. They're people. They need to take a piss. Like, bathrooms wouldn't even need to be gendered if so many guys didn't just make a fountain of piss all over every surface. Like, aside from urinals, which are, in my opinion, pretty stupid, uh, there's really no reason to even gender a bathroom. And, like, just give us nice stalls. Um, in my dorm in college... We had unisex bathrooms um, in the only in the honors dorm and only on the higher floors for the um, mostly for the uh, for the um, what you call it the seniors and stuff. Um, like in the lower floors, they still had some crappy ones. But I was on the top floor of the honors dorm for my last was it for like a year or two? I forget. But anyway, um, they just had these compartmentalized like whole. Um, a little shower, a little a toilet, and like a real door, and you know, no need for gender freaking anything's on that. Yeah, it's obviously more expensive, but it's just stupid. Yeah, I'm a little off topic now. Let's get back. Okay, it's just it's stupid. Just they're people. Fuck off. That's my main issue here. Anyway, oh dang, this is a big, I just noticed the scroll bar. We got a lot going on with Phil here. Um, my relatives are quite old school, not really open to LGBT topics. You know what I mean? I do. Do you want to come, did you try to come out and it went badly? Oh no, I didn't even try with them. They kicked me out immediately. Like, yeah. It, it's not always like, if, if you have any reason to believe your parents would react, you know, like, potentially actually violently, honestly, you don't need your parents, honestly. You, you might, you know, once you're 18, if you need to get out of your parents' life, if you need to be away from those people, that's fine. It's, I know a lot of people that live a lot better lives from having cut off from the parents. I'm not. I, um, I have some grievances with them. Um, but really, it's fine between me and them, and it, but I know a lot of people that have cut their parents out of their lives or need to, and it, it doesn't make you a horrible person. It, 
it's entirely possible for your parents to be the horrible people, and that doesn't transfer to you. You you gotta you gotta stay safe yourself. You gotta think of yourself. You gotta think of your own, you know, mental health. You gotta your physical safety in some cases. It's uh. Anyway, this got heavy. I, I was kind of... I was expecting that, but, um... It's still... I don't really talk. I, I guess a lot of people don't talk about stuff like this. Um, I'm not really the biggest one to talk on this issue, but I do, you know, think it's an important issue. I want... You know, I want people to feel, you know, alright and safe. But, uh, I don't always know what to say about things. All right, back back to reading things. Sorry, I just figured, you know, some people, some people really do need the uh, the reassurance. Anyway, oh no, if I tried them, they'd kick me out immediately. Oh, that sucks. Do you think they'd be bothered to have bisexual daughter? I don't know about that. Maybe they'd accept it. I don't think they'd accept the idea that their son is a girl very easily and bisexual as well. Oh, I see. You didn't tell me you were a trans woman. Sorry. Does that upset you or make you upset? That Does that sound like an upset response? Why would you... Calm down. Calm down. Not at all. I'm the last person to judge you on that. Prim I promise. I have made many trans friends at the LGBT Center, and I've heard how life hard life can be for them. With family, for sure. But even more how people look at you and talk about you. As if they all had their say in how you should lead your life. Even though they don't know you. Oh, you have examples? A lot. I have a trans friend who gets asked all the time in the street if she's a woman or a man. Seriously, why would that matter? Yeah, I, I don't get people's whole thing. Like, a person is a person. Unless you're gonna, like, attempt to copulate with them, you really don't fucking need to know. The, the two things, like, you, you need to know somebody's gender if you are uh, their doctor or you're gonna fuck them. And... If you're asking somebody's gender, I gotta tell you, you're not gonna fuck them, honey. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. And, uh, any other situation, you can pretty much go fuck yourself. Uh, I have another friend who often gets approached by people who don't know him that well, and as soon as they learn that he's trans, he says, about sex, how does that work? Ugh. It's really not the kind of question you'd ask somebody you know nothing about, but since he's trans, I think there's no base need for basic decency. Yeah, it's disgusting. I haven't got a lot of bullshit yet, but that's mainly because I've only told a couple of people. It's difficult, it's difficult to accept and be true to oneself, but the most important person in your life is you. It's complicated. I'm still young, and I'm not comfortable in my own skin. My parents and environment don't know anything. They're not tolerant and think I'm the perfect son. What's the deal with your environment? Have you not talked, have you not to talked to anyone about you? Well, more or less, I guess, to some people. Sorry, I don't mean to be intrusive. <laughs> Awkward. I just mean, I just want to help. But we can stop chatting about that if you want. No, no, it's fine. I'm just kind of mentally abstracting this as like, I'm not a person that found a phone. I'm just like, this is just a story I'm in consuming in an or unorthodox manner, which is kind of the point. We're kind of. I kind of get the sense that they didn't really. F they couldn't really justify it in the same way that like Sarah is missing. Like. Because the point isn't, you know, the drama. It's not the, the like, save somebody's life. It's kind of, oops, to tell a story through an unorthodox method. Though, it kind of ends up a little bit creepy. But uh, you just, you kind of just got to forget why you're looking through this. I don't know. Maybe it could have been, like, like, the amnesia trope is so, you know, I, I, honestly... People seem to hate the amnesia trope a lot more than I think it deserves, but I, I guess it could be, you know, a way to justify something like this. Um, anyway. No, no, it's okay. I like chatting with you. You know how to listen. You make me feel safe. I can't tell my parents. They don't love me for who I am, but they want me, but who they want me to be. You know... If you really can't stand your family anymore, there are several LGBT centers that also offer housing for young people who want a new start. Oh, that's good to know. You have friends to turn to? I mean, people who know you're trans? My best friend Alice knows. I can trust her always. That's nice to read. Tell me more about Alice. I already like her. 
I met her not too long ago at a games club where I go on Sundays. The thing is, I was going to the club as a girl, Samira. Samira? I mean, I figured Samantha. I mean, Sam is already ambiguous. Sam is incredibly lucky that um, that their dead that her dead name is like, you know, you just go right to just go to Sam. It's not even not even an issue. But Samira. Well, I guess, I guess that is a name, isn't it? But yeah, I, I would, I would just go Sam. Uh, wow, that's very brave of you. I'm glad you felt confident to do it. Thanks. It didn't go as well as expected. In the end, some asshole found out, and now she's threatening to tell the others if I go back. Oh fuck! Don't let her threaten you. I'm so proud of you. Have you tried to seek somewhere else? I mean, apart from the LGBT association, you find Alice. I never really noticed how awkward it is to say this. Like, I see, I read this in text, like, all the time, but, like, it's so awkward to say. That's what I never liked. I think... I don't know. I, I guess it's a touchy issue, but I never liked the whole thing of, like, adding more letters. Like, in my opinion, you can't really be inclusive by trying to list all of the things you're including. Because, like, that just makes it more explicit. Like, you just have LGBT, or just LGB. It's kind of clear there. Hey, you're excluding trans. So, you know, they add the T. And I think, I think LGBT works pretty well. I think it's reasonably compact, reasonable coverage. Um, the best argument I've heard regarding the issue is just to use queer. Because, I mean, the thing about queer is it's not really, like, generally people think of it as, you know, gay. Um, or possibly homosexual in general. But it's a nice, vague term. I mean, queer just means weird, which, I mean, people view as derogative. In my opinion, I mean, if you're watching me right now, you probably know I love weird games. I love weird everything. Um, so weird is, like, a strong positive for me. But um, it's not really, you know, it's not on the, like, it could be considered, you know, a slur or a negative, but it's really not on the, like, negative scale. Like, it's a lot worse. Um, and just queer is just so, it's nice and vague. It just indicates not typical sexuality. And in my opinion, that's really all you need. Uh, people try to go for the quilt bag. I hate that acronym. Like, that acronym sounds a frick, like a joke. But it's real, quilt bag. I can't even remember what the hell is in all of that. But yeah, quilt bag is like, like that's an acronym. And it's like all of anything relating to sexuality and they just try to cram all of it in there it, it sounds it sounds like a joke but anyway back to i'm never gonna finish reading all of these uh i'm so glad that anybody like any bigot i'm sure left on like the first video um and now we're like 90 minutes in Whew. oh speaking of I'll, I'll finish this. I actually, I don't know what we'll have after this. I'll, I'll finish this before I end the video. Anyway. My friends always told me that since a few months ago, there's a new forum for young trans people. They, there are more and more users and topics every month. Here's the link. Oh! I know Be With You. I'm already a member. I've already, maybe I've chatted with some of your friends. Maybe. I can tell them to send you an invitation from the VAP section of the forum. Not necessary, thank you. I already got one. Now I'm really curious, because you what you look like, brave girl. Honestly, I'm really comfortable. I'd really like to see you with a smile. Comfortable on your own. Or under your own wig. Uh, only if you want to, of course. I only... Hmm, awkward. I, I only have one where I'm pretty because I have my wig on. I need to look for it, too. I erased it from my phone. But I shared it with the BU forum. I can search the forum for you, but only if you send me one of you first. Sure. Here you go. This is me. It's a painting. You're very handsome, Phil. I guess... Oh, I guess the other pictures we got were abstract. So I guess those were actually photos, not like... Wait, were the... No, 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 those were definitely... Those were definitely art and the other thing. You're very handsome, Phil. Thank you very much, milady. Now it's your turn. Draft, touch to attach the file. Uh... I guess we need to go... Uh, I don't really... So I guess we need to go find BU Forum. Sam thing. Alright, I guess there is a lot more stuff. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. 
and I guess we'll continue along. <laughs>